Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I feel like I have been at my desk all day. As you can see that I look like a mess. But um, I've had admin day, lots of video editing for the new recipes that are coming soon to you. Um, and I need to make dinner now for the family. So I thought I'd share this recipe because it's going to be fantastic. I am making um, wild garlic uh, chicken, roast chicken parat cheesy parathas okay let's say that again wild garlic cheesy roast chicken parathas oh they're gonna be good and if you can't find wild garlic right now it's in season it's absolutely everywhere you can go foraging collect it for free or you can find it in shops if you can't find it you can just use spinach instead right let's get cooking before that don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so. So I have still got lots of wild garlic left from my um, woodland wok. So I am going to use um, some of the fresh leaves. I'm just telling you how much. Uh, I would usually just use a handful but I will definitely let you guys know how much. So I am going to blitz up 150, that's 150 grams, I'm going to remove the flowers and then just give this 150 grams of um, uh, wild garlic a quick wash. So in this uh, massive pan, I am just going to get these um, washed up garlic, uh, wild garlic leaves. And I am going to put them in here and uh, also add 100 ml of boiling water to this and then cook it for five minutes so you add your water just to help cook it cover and i'm going to lower the heat and just give this five minutes okay so it has been exactly five minutes uh, they have wilted down and what i'm going to do is turn this off leave it to sit for five and then blitz it to a paste so it hasn't been done completely but i I'm running out of time and I really need to cook the dinner so I am just gonna blitz it up and make it into a puree I'm just gonna there isn't much liquid left but whatever it is there a drop I will add it and blitz it Okay, now comes the flour. So I'm just using atta, which is, um, you know, chapati flour. And you can buy it in Asian supermarkets. If you can't, then just use plain flour for right now. But it's good to use chapati flour if you are making parathas to get the real uh, kind of feel. So that is 300 grams. I am cooking for four people. Here is, if I can open it, um, the blitzed up garlic i'm using all of it because that is a good perfect kind of quantity for making this dough it is quite hot but i can survive i'm also going to be adding a teaspoon of salt to this now before i add any water um, which i will need a little bit i'm going to mix this up Ooh. and yes it is hot you can see the smoke coming out but yeah um because if you add water before and actually it doesn't need much at all then you, you know you'll have to keep adding more flour to make it actually i might not need any liquid it's looking pretty good oh it's gonna have this lovely leafy garlicky flavor plus a nice lovely color So most of it is done. I will just need a couple of tablespoons for this bit. So that's just one. So just two tablespoons. You can go by eye, you know, depending on how many leaves 
you have used in the base. Okay, so that's looking good. What I'm going to do is I'm um, just going to cover and let this rest for 15 20 minutes. It's a beautiful door, I have to say. Now in this box, I've got some roast chicken, which I roasted over the weekend, the first barbecue of the season. Um, and I've got a box full leftover. Somebody's at the door, but they can wait. I'll tell you how much it is. It's around 230 grams and I'm going to chop it very finely. Um, so the reason I'm chopping it um, slightly smaller pieces because I just um, kept all the roast chicken like leftover in a box. Uh, by put it, cutting it into smaller pieces, it'll be easier to stuff the parathas. So that's what I'm doing. So once you've kind of roughly chopped all the chicken up, um, don't have to go crazy. This is blend. This is enough fully chopped. I'm going to grate some lovely cheddar cheese in this. And then all I'm doing is taking like a block of cheese around, say, fifty to sixty grams and then grate it with the chicken now to finish this i'm literally adding like a quarter teaspoon of salt you don't want too much because um the dough has got salt um, and i'm just going to do some sprinkling of black pepper and i've got some like dried um leftover chopped up coriander in the fridge which i'm going to add and give it a good mix now I'm ready to roll the parathas. Right, uh, my son who's behind the camera has just requested that I add a bit more cheese. So I've just added a 20 grams more cheese. Um, but that is a personal choice. Um, it's still going to be a lot more chicken than cheese. Um, but yeah, so it was around 220 to 30 grams of chicken and around 70 to 80 grams of cheese. And look at that dough, it's nicely rested isn't it right so i'm just going to tell you roughly how many parathas this is going to make obviously the filling should last but i'm guessing it will make around eight parathas yeah that's right yeah so around eight parathas it already smells so garlicky and this chicken because it was cooked on the barbecue smells really smoky so that's going to be an amazing combination right let's start rolling so you've got a little portion we we'll roll it in a bit of um, flour so you roll it in a bit of flour and then a little bit of rolling and take it in the hand and get some of the chicken filling I think I've got exact amount of chicken filling in here to make around eight parathas and then you seal so you just roll pinch 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 and then seal always make sure to press it down before you roll otherwise it'll burst open immediately if you press it kind of seals it a bit more and then you roll and the pan is getting hot to cook this chicken wild garlic cheesy paratha it's going to take around a couple of minutes on each side It's had a couple of minutes on each side. I'm just putting a little bit of oil in here. You can cook it with ghee if you like. Um, there are so many flavors, I don't want to cook it with ghee. Okay, that's making a little bit of a noise. And one more drop. You don't have to add loads of oil, just a few drops will be fine. And Yes. 
Oh my god, that smells. I can't tell you how strong that smell is. And it just smells incredible. And while the rest of them are cooking, I'm just going to quickly taste it because um, Yuv is wanting dinner. So he doesn't want to film anymore, which is fine because I'm almost done. Um, you don't need anything with this, but if you want, you can have a little bit of kind of yogurt or um, a pickle. But I wouldn't be eating anything with this. This is great. Oh, wow. Mmm. Or barbecue chicken. Wow. A beautiful balgarlic flavor. And cheese is just enough to kind of bind it all together. Um, oh, that's gorgeous. I really hope you'll try this. Don't forget to subscribe and come back for another new recipe this week. Till then, bye.